What's the secret to sounding like a native Chinese speaker? Do you want to impress a native Chinese? Hey, 大家好 Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Intro to Chinese Basics You Need to Know with Akina Ying. Of course, I'm Akina Ying. Today, we will learn the one thing that will set you apart from the average Chinese learner. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week. I'd love to see you back. Chinese is known as a tonal language. That means the inflection of your voice means a specific word. If you master the tones, you will really impress a Chinese speaker. More than that, they will understand what you are trying to communicate. But if you don't, they may not even know what you're trying to say. Here is a quick example of the tones in the letters M A Ma. So listen carefully to the changing tones and consequently the change in meanings and also in how they look in Chinese character. This one is Ma Ma straight across like a monotone, very even Ma. That one means mother. Um, and then the next one, the second tone is going up. Is ma ma. Third one is ma. It goes down and up. Ma, and that means horse. The fourth tone is a down tone. It is very emphatic. Ma ma. And then the last one is the fifth tone, which is a silent tone. Ma ma. Short and sweet and quiet. Ma. Ma. So instead of saying what, when, and how in Chinese, you usually just tag on the ma at the end. Ma, as in 你吃饭了吗？你吃饭了 would mean you ate a meal. But if you say 你吃饭了吗，那 would mean did you eat a meal or did you eat? Here is a phrase that perfectly uses all five tones. 我要吃葡萄。我 third tone 要 is the fourth. 吃 is the first tone. 葡 is the second tone. 萄 is the A、uh, silent tone. 我要吃葡萄 and that means I want to eat grapes. At the end of this video, I hope you can go away saying, "Wow, I didn't think the tones can be this easy." And on top of that, I also learned twenty essential words along with a. Huge arsenal of everyday sentences that actually uses those words. These words also happen to be combinations of all five tones. It comes from YoYoChinese.com. This was a free PDF from their website. I'll put a link to it in the description below for you to check it out. And if you're really having trouble with the pin pronunciations, please go back and watch my last video on pin, the Chinese alphabet's、um, initials, final syllables. So as I mentioned earlier, there are five tones. The first One is the I'll just call it the monotone. Very even. It's very flat. It's just ah.、Uh, and the word example is maybe. When you say maybe, you're like maybe, maybe. The second tone is the rising tone. It goes up. And this one word example is what, what, what. That's the second tone. The third tone is a low tone. It's supposed to be a little squiggly, like down and up, like ma. But in actual Chinese conversation, you don't say ma. So that's the example here. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's all you say when you see the down and up. The fourth one is the falling tone. Goes down, and the word is no, no. Ah,、uh, it's very emphatic. No, and then of course there's the fifth tone, which is a neutral tone. Neutral tone is a weird one. Um, it can be used to denote past action, like in 吃了 that means ate. In Chinese, we don't have present, past, and future verbs. You just add in the 了 which is the neutral tone of le to make it um. Past tense. Sometimes they just tag it on to the end of a sentence, like 我们走了 Let's go. Frequently, uh, words are doubled, and the second sound to the double sound are usually soft tones, like ba ba, ba ba, like ba is down, but ba, ba ba ba. That's just neutral. And mama, 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 mama. It's very short and sweet, and that's a neutral one. Mama, ma. Or it can be used to end a question or exclamation, like 太棒啦 great. Ah,、uh, 太棒啦啦啦 L E again. Ah,、uh, or 怎么啦怎么啦怎么啦 Today I will introduce you to some English words that sound just like the five tones. One and one. 今天 maybe 妹妹今天 both are even and that's 
今天 means today. 今天我们会去看一个足球赛啊。Uh, or 今天是星期五。Today we are going to watch a basketball game. Today is Friday. First and second, maybe what? 中国，中国，中国 ，China. 中国是一个很大的国家。我是中国人。China is a very big country. I'm Chinese. First and third. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, 冰水，冰水，冰水 ，iced water. 他想一杯冰水，冰水很好喝 He wants a cup of iced water. Iced water is very good to drink. First and the fourth. Maybe, no, 知道，知道 to know something. 你知道他的名字吗？我知道一点中文。Do you know his name? I know a little Chinese. First tone and the neutral tone. Maybe the, maybe the. 真的，真的 Really? 我说的真的话，真的吗 ？I'm speaking the truth. Really? The second and first. What? Maybe what? Maybe. 明天，明天 Tomorrow. 明天是星期六。明天我不会工作的 Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow I won't work. The second with the second. What? What? 明年，明年 next year. 明年是二零二十二年。明年我会住在美国八年啦 ，Yay! So next year is two thousand twenty-two. Next year I will have lived in America for eight years. Woohoo! Second and third. What? Uh. What? Uh. 游泳。游泳 swim. 我们家里有一个游泳池。你喜欢游泳吗？ Um, we have a swimming pool at our house. Do you like to go swimming? Second and fourth. What? No. What? No. 容易，容易 easy. 这个问题很容易，太容易了。This problem is super easy. Too easy. Second tone. And neutral tone. What? Ma? Shema? Shema? What? That's the actual word meaning. 你在说什么？这是什么意思 ？What are you saying? What does this mean? And also notice that in Chinese, when you ask a question, your inflection does not have to go up in the end, because if you change the inflection, you change the meaning of the word. Now we are going to move on to the third tone, which says. Uh, three one. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. 喜欢，喜欢。我很喜欢音乐。你喜欢什么东西呢 ？I really like music. What do you like? Comment below. Third tone with the second. Uh, what? Uh, what? 起床，起床。你几点起床？起床了。What time do you get up? Get up. Third tone with the third tone. Uh, uh. 你好，你好。你好，你好吗？他好可爱哦。Hello, how are you? He's so cute. Third with the fourth. Uh, no. Uh, no. 炒饭，炒饭。Fried rice. 炒饭很棒。你怎么吃炒饭？用筷子还是用叉子 ？Fried rice is great. How do you eat your fried rice? With chopsticks or with a fork? Third with the neutral. Uh, uh. Wood, wood, my or mine. 这是我的书。我有一个黄色的包子。This is my book. I have a yellow bag. Fourth with first. No, maybe. No, maybe. 面包，面包。Bread. 面包非常好吃。Bread is very delicious. Hmm. No, what? No, what? No, what? 问题，问题。That means question or problem. 你有一个问题吗？这个问题很容易。Do you have a problem? This question is so easy. Fourth and third. No. Uh. No. Uh. 这里，这里 here. 这里很冷。这里很漂亮。It's so cold here. It's beautiful here. Fourth with fourth. No. No. 再见，再见。Goodbye. Fourth and neutral. No. 的谢谢谢谢谢谢你不用谢 Thanks.
thank you, no problem, or no need to say thank you. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thumbs ups are always welcome. And I'll see you next time. 下次见。